Welcome back friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about CSI net exam target because uh, I've been asked this question a lot of times that what should be the target of CSI UGC net exam in life sciences that means uh, how much score I should, I should get uh, to permanently seal my spot as uh, the JRF or as LS in CSI net exam without being worried about the cutoff that they put because you know in CSI net exam you never know what is the answer what is the actual whether you qualify or not not after uh, giving the exam not after getting the uh, answer key the final thing that you only know is the day where the cutoff is declared because the cutoff will vary from time to time so if you ask me this question that how exactly we will tell for sure that uh, I'm going to qualify or not uh, this is the video just for you so stay tuned and watch the video so based on last few years cutoff of CSI net exam it varied quite a lot especially in life sciences of CSI net exam the cutoff is significantly increased over a period of five years uh, in the last 10 CSI net exam it been it's been varied a lot uh, of times earlier it was fixed for a long period but now a little variations is always there depending upon the type of question that they ask depending upon the number of marks that the students are getting that's a good good sign in one sense because prepare, people are preparing and they are getting better score or the questions are deteriorating so let's talk about one thing so if you want a particular target that how many questions you should answer from group C how many questions you should answer for group B as well as from group A to get uh, to know the surety that you will score a mark that will give you JRF or LS so let me tell you that in a sequential manner the first thing is that uh, for answering this you need to know the pattern and marks distribution of CSI net exam so I will divide it like first of all group A group A 20 questions are there you need to answer 15 questions of that so ultimately 30 marks from group A which is a general science and aptitude part then group B group B where total 50 questions are there you need to answer 35 of them 2 marks each so 70 marks from that group B and then group C total 25 questions are there uh, I mean 75 questions are there you need to answer 25 of them so again uh, in this case 100 marks 4 marks for each question so along with group A and B it is 100 70 plus 30 and in group C itself 100 so total 200 marks of the question and how much you should score to permanently seal your spot as a JRF that's a big question an answer to that you know may uh, the cutoff vary it doesn't matter but let me tell you one thing based on studying the cutoff for five consecutive or six consecutive seasons I can tell you right now uh, they kind of have a limit of the cutoff we can predict the cutoff in a way that approximately the JRF limit becomes 108 to 116 or something like that so 54 percent to 58 percent that's kind of the range uh, in one uh, consecutive year it becomes 59% but that's kind of offbeat that's not going to happen again probably so keeping that in mind if it's the score is 108 to 116 I will assume that you should score 120 because if you score 120 it is almost 60% of that exams value 60% uh, will not be the cutoff based on this uh, last December net exam so I believe it's again going to be kind of 54% or 55% so again if you score 60% uh, that will be kind of a sweet spot to call yourself as a JRF now how exactly you will know that you may you may tell me that how exactly we know that for sure but actually if you need to be confident about answering the question because you know the day you will predict that you will qualify for JRF or LS is the day where they declare the marks actually the the answer key not exactly the cutoff or mark statement because you know the cutoff or mark statement is declared far later and actually a lot of uh, case federal cases are going on against csi net exam for different reasons that's why they are having difficulty publishing the results uh, quite often so that's the reason you need to be able to understand 
whether uh, the score that you are getting based on the answer key published by official CSR net site you can predict your position in the CSR scale that's what I'm going to tell you now let's assume you need to score 120 so if you score 120 if your score is coming 120 by checking all those uh, official CSR net answer key that means you permanently seal your spot for a GRF if your score is above 100 less than 110 you can assure that you will be a uh, LS uh, in that same field that is one thing that you should always focus now the question is what should be our target while you're answering the question in the exam uh, to seal our spot as a GRF so now let me answer that question first of all group A group B and group C let me tell you the the calculation from group C first because group C carries 50% of the entire exams marks so in group C there are 25 questions you need to answer among 25 you know you need to predict yourself that you should answer you should be able to answer 20 to 22 questions okay 22 questions should be your target so if you answer 22 questions then correct answering 22 questions will give you 88 marks 4 marks each question so let's assume you get 22 questions to be correct and 88 marks now let's move to the group B total questions 50 you need to answer 30 here you need to answer 25 correct questions so answering 25 questions correctly will give you 25 into 2 50 so 50 plus 88 gives you 138 with group B and group C now your group A is still in your hand in group A there are 15 questions to be answered and let's you let's assume you need to answer almost <coughs> 8 questions in group uh, C uh, group A so 8 question in group A 8 into 2 16 marks so it is 138 plus 16 so it will become 154 so now assuming that all the question you have answered are correct you are getting a score of 154 which is way above anyone's expectation and getting a score of 150 above may assure you a rank 1 to 10 in CSI net exam and if you score between that rank 1 to 20 you will be entitled to apply for a fellowship known as Shama Prashad Mukherjee fellowship that will help you to get more than the, the, the fellowship that they actually provide to the students so the stipend normally is 32 to 35,000 with SPM fellowship the stipend can be <coughs> close to 50,000 a month so keeping that idea aside now one calculation we haven't done correctly that is you've answered all the questions correctly and that's very rare because obviously you'll make some mistakes and that's quite true that's quite true that's why we are uh, entitled to do all this so 154 now let's assume you answered two wrong questions in group C so it will be a negative marking of 4 plus 4 8 plus minus 2 minus 1 for each question so it will be 10 marks deducted from your total of 154 got it so 154 minus 10 gives you 144 now let's assume you answered five questions wrong in group B so wrong five question means 2.5 marks deducted from the original so 5 into 2.5 will be 12.5 so from 144 if you delete 12 it gives you 132 so it will be 131.5 now let's assume you answered four questions wrong in group A so total deduction of 10 marks so 131.5 minus 10 gives you 121.5 so you are still scoring more than 120 which is our target score to confirm our seat as a GRF so that's why it's the sweet calculation write it down somewhere because I am not using a board to explain it so you can pause the video and write these things down that if you answer 22 questions in group C the chance of error is 2 questions in group C answering 25 questions in group B the chance of error is 5 questions in group B answering 8 questions in group A the chance of error is 4 questions to be wrong 
in group A. So now let me tell you how exactly we need to calculate uh, the whole list. We need to calculate the exact scores. So you can write it down, take a notebook, write it down. You can pause the video and can write it down on your own. So let me tell you one thing. In group C, answering 22 questions, the chance of error of a question are 2. So you can answer 2 questions wrong. You still have the room. So in group B, you answering 25 questions and the chance of error is 5 questions. In group A, you are answering 8 questions while the chance of error is answering 4 wrong questions. Now adding all the marks together, deleting the negative markings, giving us 121.5. So this 121.5 is above the sweet spot because we know the sweet spot is 120, 120. So you are scoring 121 even after making a wrong answers, two wrong answers in group C, five wrong answers in group B, four wrong answers in group A. Even doing all this, you are getting a solid 121.5 that will seal your spot as a JRF in the CSI net exam. So you can check yourself whether you answered the questions correctly or not. And the only way to do that is waiting for the official answer key published by the CSI net exam. These days a lot of uh, coaching centers they publish their own answer key because you actually are very eager to know the answer key the next day of the exam. But those are not the question answer key by which you will be measured. Your answer sheet will be measured based on the official answer key of CSIR net. So wait for at least one month or 40 days for the CSIR to publish their official answer key and then match your answer with that answer key. If you are scoring more than 120, you can know yourself that your place is sealed. You will be qualified for a GRF. Now for a general category obviously we are talking all about the general category. Now if you are getting a score more than 100, you stick here as a LS individual. So that is your target. While you are answering the questions in the, in the exam hall, that should be your prime target to answer the number of questions 8 in group A, 25 in group B and 22 in group C. Now if you are aiming for an LS, then you can break it down a little short like 6 question in group A, 25 question in group B. 20 questions in group C. So based on that you will gather a score which is enough and sufficient to make you qualified for the exam. So that should be your target while you are preparing for CSR UGC net exam especially for life sciences. If you like this video please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel and also while clicking the subscribe button there will be that bell icon. You click the bell icon so that you get the video as soon as I publish them. Thank you.